Last time we looked at attributes, we looked at sorting by one attribute and having only two groups. But we know that there can be objects that have different faces, one, six, two. So the next step, once we've mastered learning how to choose a rule and choosing how to sort, is we can make more than two groups. So I'm going to keep my same rule and I'm going to keep the same groups, but I'm going to have more groups this time. So how many faces can objects have? Well, they have to have at least one face for it to be an object. So I'm going to take a look at the objects that I have here. None of my objects have one face, so I'm not going to use that as a group. But my cone had two faces. I know the cylinders had three faces. I had nothing with four faces, but I did have two objects with five faces. And my cube had six faces. I could sort all my objects by having more groups. So my cone has two faces. My cylinders have three faces. I know that these have five faces from the last time I did my sorting. And a cube has six faces. So I can make my sorting a little bit more complicated and add more groups. Once I've mastered how to choose a rule and create the groups based on that rule.